the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Today we'll pray together the votive mass for peace and justice. Coming now to be nourished at the table of God's word and sacrament, let us call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. You raise us to new life in your spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us. Let us pray. O oh God, you have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children. Grant that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone assures true and lasting peace. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh, but established. Resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is someone, something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Most of you have kids. Um, 
most of us, we're all human, and we all know what it is to be frustrated when someone we love just won't listen. They won't heed our advice, take our counsel, take advantage of our wisdom. You know what I speak. That's what Jesus is encountering in the gospel today, in the opposition to people who simply know better but will not listen to his words, calling them to repentance and calling them to the kingdom of God to be transformed by God's love and mercy. So the challenge I think for us today is ask ourselves, where is Jesus frustrated with us? Where is it we simply won't listen to him, but we know better? We know better. Is it a grudge? Is it our jealousies? Is it our pride? Whatever it is, I'm willing to bet all of us have something in our lives where we simply will not listen to Jesus. Today we are challenged to open our ears, our minds, and our hearts that we might allow Jesus to come in and touch those parts of our lives and hearts yet to be transformed by his grace. As we come to the Lord's table today, we stand in thanksgiving for all that God has done for us and all that Jesus calls us to be. Today, may we open ourselves to that wisdom, that grace he alone can give. Let us stand now and bring our prayers to the mercy of our God. For the church, may the Lord continue to enable her as a beacon of truth and justice for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the blessing of Almighty God upon all people of the world and freedom for all people to worship him without fear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live under threat of violence, oppression, war, or famine, may the Lord provide for their every need and keep them from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord help us to trust that his loving providence will sustain us in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon rest forever in the loving arms of the Father in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Edward Cain, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 And seeking the intercession of Our Lady for peace. Hail Mary, 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 full of grace, grace, the the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray these many things through Christ our Lord.
the sacrifice and wash me white as snow, cleanse me from all my sin. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, my bro- <clears throat> pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. <clears throat> of peace offered under these sacramental signs bring concord to all your children. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise. O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through Christ Jesus our Lord. Though the human race is... ...charts and prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit, you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other, adversaries join hands, and people seek the way of peace together. By the working of your power comes the battle, Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Almighty Father, we bless you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake was handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation that Christ has brought us, we ask you, Father, to send the Holy Spirit upon these your gifts, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For when he was about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at table, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks and praise, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing into his hands, confessing your mercy, He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace. May he keep us in communion of mind and our people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, also bring us together 
with the glorious Virgin Mary, mother of God, Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles, and in your friendship. Bring us all to share with them the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, the risen Lord. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Bestow upon us, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace he has left us, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.